self-ionization of water. Water is self-ionizing and what this means is that it will react with itself as follows. If we have two water molecules, what can happen is one can act as an acid and one will act as a base, which means it will transfer this proton to this other water molecule. So what you will get is the hydronium ion, which is the water molecule that's gained one hydrogen, and you'll also get the hydroxide ion, which of course the hydronium will be the conjugate acid because it has gained a hydrogen from the other water molecule here. The hydronium will be the conjugate acid of this base water here because it has gained one hydrogen. The hydroxide will be the conjugate base of this acid here which has lost one hydrogen. So at 25 degrees what you will find is that the hydronium concentration multiplied by the hydroxide concentration in any solution will always equal 10 to the negative 14 molar squared. And this is what's called Kw, the constant, which is the ionization constant for water. But the important thing to remember here is that at 25 degrees, any solution's concentration of hydronium multiplied by hydroxide concentration will equal 10 to the negative 14. So if an acid or base is added to water, obviously the concentrations of the hydrogen ion or the hydronium and the hydroxide will change. So if you add an acid, the hydrogen ion concentration will increase. So concordantly, the hydroxide concentration will decrease. If you add a base, the hydroxide concentration will increase and, as a result, the hydrogen ion concentration will decrease. At 25 degrees Celsius, a solution is considered to be acidic if the hydronium concentration is greater than 10 to the negative 7 and therefore the hydroxide concentration will be less than 10 to the negative 7 molar. It will be considered neutral if the hydronium concentration is equal to 10 to the negative 7, which of course will then be equal to the hydroxide concentration. And it will be considered basic when that hydronium concentration is less than 10 to the negative 7 molar, and the hydroxide concentration will therefore be greater than 10 to the negative 7 molar. So how do we work this in a question? Here's an example question. Find the hydroxide concentration in a solution in which the hydrogen concentration is 10 to the negative 6 molar. So the first thing we need to do here is use this formula here. Hydronium times hydroxide equals 10 to the negative 14. We then can see that the hydronium or hydrogen ion, because of course hydronium is just water plus a hydrogen ion, so that equals 10 to the negative 6. Put in the rest of the equation, and now we can solve for hydroxide. So all we need to do is divide both sides by 10 to the negative 14. So we'll bring this around this side. So we'll have hydroxide concentration equals 10 to the negative 14 divided by 10 to the negative 6. And that will equal 10 to the negative 8 molar. A second question is just the opposite way around. So now we're finding the hydrogen ion concentration in the solution in which the hydroxide concentration is 1.29 by 10 to the negative 3 molar. Again, we use this formula. So we plug in the hydroxide concentration here is 1.29 by 10 to the negative 3 molar. And we can just now solve for the hydronium concentration, which will be equal to the hydrogen ion concentration. So we divide both sides 
by 1.29 by 10 to the negative 3 and we get that the hydronium concentration will be equal to 10 to the minus 14 divided by 1.29 by 10 to the negative 3 and you just work that out in your calculator and you'll get 7.75 by 10 to the negative 12. So there's two questions for you to have a go at now. So pause this, I'll put the answers up um, and then I'll put some work solutions up. Okay, so answer to the first one is 1.96 by 10 to the negative 6 molar and question 2 is 1.36 by 10 to the negative 10 molar. If you've gotten this right, you don't need to watch any more. I'm just going to put through the work solutions for these two calculations. So the first one here, you're trying to find out the hydroxide concentration when you know what the hydrogen concentration is. Remember the hydrogen concentration will equal the hydronium concentration so we can put this value in here and then we can just solve for the hydroxide. So bring your 5 by 10, sorry 5 by 1 by 10 to the negative 9 over to this side and so you're dividing and you can solve here. Question 2 you're just finding the hydrogen ion concentration in a solution in which the hydroxide is 7.37 by 10 to the negative 5 molar. Again, you're using this. So plug in your hydroxide concentration, which is 7.37 by 10 to the negative 5. Put in the rest of your equation, and you're just dividing 10 by the negative 14 by this side here. And you will get this. So just divide 10 by the negative 14 by 7.37 by 10 to the negative 5 and you'll get 1.36 by 10 to the negative 10 molar.